In this tutorial, we are looking at color mixing, but instead of using paint, we are using tissue paper. We are using a light box here to bring out the color and transparency of the tissue paper, but the same experiment can be done against a window pane. As you can see here, we have two different sets of primary colors. On the left hand side, we have the traditional set of primary colors red, blue, and yellow. Whereas on the right hand side, we have replaced the warm red with the cooler red. This set of primary colors is closer to the one used in printing and graphic design, magenta red, cyan blue, and yellow. Let's see what happens when we overlap the blue and red tissue paper here on the left hand side. You can see that the mixture becomes purple. When we add the yellow tissue, we can see that where the yellow and blue tissue overlap, we have the color green. Whereas, where the yellow and the red overlap, we have the color orange. When we recreate the same overlaps on the left hand side, our secondary colors, purple, green, and orange, are a lot clearer. You can redo the same experiment with different shades of primary colors or any color in your set of tissue paper. It is an easy way to familiarize yourself with color mixing. In this tutorial, we will use tissue paper and water to explore color mixing of primary colors. The materials and tools we need are paper, water, brushes, and tissue paper. We start covering the paper with a thin layer of clean water. On the left hand side, we have a relatively warm red, yellow, and two different hues of blue. On the right hand side, we have a set of primary colors that are closer to the one used in printing and graphic design, magenta red, cyan blue, and yellow. Then we place our pieces of tissue paper across the sheet of paper. We want to let the different colors overlap in places so we can see how the colors bleed and mix with each other. Once we have arranged the tissue, we need to apply another layer of water so more pigment can be released from the paper. Here we go. The result is always a bit of a surprise. It will vary depending on the amount of water we use, on the tinting strength of the pigment, and how much pigment the tissue releases. Here, for example, the yellow has less tinting strength than the other colors. Let's fill in the middle sections too. Here are a few close-ups of our experiment. You can see how different the results can be. The magenta, cyan, and yellow result overall in brighter hues of the secondary colors green, orange, and purple than the other set. But all of the color variations are exciting and worth exploring. And we have just learned another way of applying color to paper.